Welcome back from former feuding Atlanta music stars reuniting to new revelations in the Avengers movies. Astrid in the ATL joins us with all the entertainment headlines. Hey Astrid. Yeah, too, but first, let's go to the Marvel news. Avengers Endgame was the first movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to not contain any post credit scenes. Instead, the movie just ended and the credits just rolled. However, if you've gone to the movies lately, they just added a surprising new scene. Many Marvel fans were upset when Endgame didn't include any post credit scenes. Now the latest Avengers movie has a big surprise. But if you haven't seen Endgame, this is a serious spoiler. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. The second trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home features Tom Holland, of course, as Spider. Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury and Zendaya. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Far From Home takes place after the events of both Infinity War and Endgame. Not a spoiler, but rather a cause for celebration is the coming together of OutKast. The Atlanta rappers Big Boy and Andre 3000 reunited this week for a family reunion. Big Boy's son Cross Patton graduated from high school, and the rappers shared pics on social media. I'm not saying I got the best husband ever, but I really got the best husband ever. Part-time Atlanta rapper Cardi B's first Mother's Day was surely a special one. Her husband, Atlanta rapper Offset from the Migos, surprised Cardi in Miami, where she was performing at the Rolling Loud Festival. He showed up with their 10-month-old baby, Culture, and two Birkin bags. The Rolling Loud Festival was also where last year Offset popped on stage, begging Cardi to take him back. Obviously, she did. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm if you don't know this song, you should. Old Town Road by Atlanta rapper Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus is tearing up the charts. And now a third grade class in Alabama has their own take on this hot track. The educational remix of the hip hop and country song Old Town Road was uploaded last week and has already gone viral. They're learning math while they're singing the Very latest good. track, so it's awesome. <laughs> Old Town Road has earned Lil Nas X a major deal with Columbia Records because before this, he was not even signed. He was just a kid that dropped out of high school. But now the song also sparked controversy over race and the sanctity of country music after Billboard removed it from the country charts. Lil what? Nas X calls the track a hybrid country trap. Old Town Road is currently in its fifth week at number one position on the Billboard Hot 100. Okay, speaking of music, we already have the lineup for the upcoming Music Midtown Festival. It was announced today. Texas-born rapper Travis Scott will be the main draw for the two-day event. Other headliners are Vampire Weekend, Billy Ellis, and Panic at the Disco. The lineup also features Atlanta-based artists like Black and Lil Yachty, along with Lizzo, Charlie Puth, who my daughter loves, Colombian singer Callie Uchis, Jaden Smith, we know, you know his father, Will Smith, and many, many others. Tickets oh. are on sale uh, this Friday. The festival will be once again at Piedmar Park, September 14th and 15th. You know what? The country rapper. <laughs> yeah, the country trap. And I, feel like I mean, I want to go books. back to that for a second because, you know, at one point they were saying that in the music industry there was no place for rap, mm -hmm. you know, and now it's so celebrated, hip hop, and it's like to remove it from the country chart. They no did, more. they removed it. There was a big controversy about it, but it yeah. went number one in different Still types of one. genres. Yeah. And then some people question whether, you know, country sometimes incorporates rap in it as well. well so is that country enough? Who, was, who dated Ashanti, the rapper? Um, it's hot in here. Nelly. He Nelly, the, thank you. He did a country the, song. Did okay. Nelly cop to that? Really? I thought they were just collaborate. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you, Astrid. Eye opening. Uh,